do 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 Hey everybody, welcome back to Storytime Book Bites. How many of you like going to the zoo? I do. Um, in fact, we just went not too long ago. Check your local library. This is a little tip. Um, our library just teamed up with, um, oh, you can get these passes that can go into museums and such. Well, zoos are part of that. And we can actually check out a free pass to the zoo with our library card and then spend the day at the zoo you actually get the pass for two weeks so you can go a couple times um, it covers four people so check out your library your library may be doing that too anyway so we just went to the zoo our zoo has quite a few different animals it has camels has kangaroos has lions and tigers no bears um, one animal it doesn't have is a giraffe this new book I want to show you da, 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 da. like it's get the glare off it it's called neck and neck and it's by Elise Parsley and it is absolutely adorable especially if your child loves giraffes or if you want to do a giraffe story time you have got to use this book neck and neck obviously you can tell this is the real giraffe and this is a giraffe balloon. The giraffe is so popular at the zoo. Look at, they even sell giraffe balloons. Well, Le uh, Leopold, that's the name of the giraffe, is like the main attraction at the zoo. Everyone comes to see him. It sounds like he let it go to his head a bit too much at how popular he is. Um... It starts off, life at the zoo was glorious for Leopold. Every day, kids laughed and cheered, and the snacks. Oh, there were such delicious snacks. This morning began with the usual squeals of ad admiration. Oh boy, oh boy, the tallest animal in the world. I bet he can see all the way to my house. I just love this guy. At that, Leopold sighed and turned. Hmm, is this boy talking about Leopold? No, he's talking about his balloon. And he goes on to say all the wonderful things that the balloon does that Leopold doesn't. Like this Leopold, or this balloon is always happy and cheerful. And well, Leopold's like, well, sheesh, I can be cheerful too. So then he tries to be cheerful. But then the boy says, and it zooms and it bounces. So Leopold tries to do that. And it's this contest between Leopold and the balloon. When Leopold goes to his thinking tree, it's an acacia tree, which are very thorny. Leopold gets an idea and he gets a stick. And what do you think he does? Blam! He pops the balloon. This is not good. Then the boy's upset. The boy comes back, though, with a ton of balloons. And look at poor Leopold. He's like, <laughs> But that's too many balloons for the kid. He danced and he tripped and he let go of the balloons. Leopold then is stuck having to decide, should he save the balloons or should he let them be stuck in the tree? At first, he's thinking, nope, not to save. But he does change his mind, and he does save the balloons, and he does bring them back to the little boy in the end. Um, when he went to his thinking tree, look at all the balloons were in there. This is a really fun story. They're great illustrations. Um, I'm assuming Elise Parsley did the illustrations, too. She's the only name listed on the cover of the book. If you'd like to pair it with another giraffe book, uh, one more. This one isn't technically all about giraffes, but there's a giraffe in my soup. As a story about a little, um, little child, little boy who tries to order food, and every time the waiter brings the food, there's an animal. It starts off with a giraffe in a soup, and it's hilarious. So there's all these different animals. If you have an animal-loving child, this is a great one to pair with neck and neck, um, especially if you're going to a zoo, too. All right, so check these out. 
neck and neck. There's a giraffe in my soup at your local library or local bookstore. You won't be disappointed. These are great books. All right. That's about it for today. I will be back again with some more book recommendations and book reviews. Thank you for watching. If you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.